What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be reacting to uh, Ty Debo's My Team is no longer exists. It is now turned into My Casino or Buy Team. So the Debo is gone fully onto his DBG arc right here. 2K hates us, 2K has ruined the gauntlet. My Team no longer exists. That's a good one to see. That is a good thing to see. <laughs> Get some entertainment going. Let's take a look at his video. Uh, we gotta talk. Ooh, we got. Oh, that's twice now. That is twice in two days. He hasn't even done the intro. I talk about Giannis onto the Kupo and my team. Now, the only saving grace that 2K has today the is ball? this sentence right here. 2K said Giannis will also be available as the collection reward for tomorrow's Tis the Season present collection. That is the only saving grace for this video I have to record right now. Yeah. I already recorded I this video talking about Giannis without seeing that sentence, and then I had to re-record because I thought he was only available via gambling, which today is correct, but tomorrow you... Yeah, that is a fair point. When I released a video saying it's a new loan, gambling only, they hadn't tweeted out yet that he was a lock-in reward. Can lock in a set for him. So the way we've got to think about Giannis Antetokounmpo is he is the lock-in reward for tomorrow. That's all you've got to think about for Giannis. Do not think about him as in packs or anything like that, which yep. 2K is trying to get everybody to rip packs early, which, listen, I'm going to tell you guys right now, you're not going to pull Giannis because the odds are less than 2%. Here's what you're looking at. Seven feet tall, 67 three ball, decent ball under decent defense, good speed. If you went through those stats, like genuinely, I think you could show me the stats. I'm colorblind, so I don't know if this pink diamond or diamond. I can't see it. If you went over those stats and asked me, is this the pink diamond or diamond Giannis? I wouldn't be able to tell you which one is which. Is it the same card? Good lateral quickness. The best power forward in the game is Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's better than KG, better than Hakeem, better than Diamond Giannis. He's the best power same. forward in the game. He's just Diamond Giannis. Now remember. Throw. The way you got to think about him as, is as your set reward for tomorrow. So, obviously, season three, we go into here. We go into uh, the set that is coming tomorrow. The set tomorrow is going to be a 15-card set. Going to be pretty expensive like this Penny Hardaway. Don't think, oh, Giannis is gambling only because today he is. But he is your no, thankfully. collection reward tomorrow. By the way, if you're not on Twitter, you probably would think he's only gambling. The only thing, it's not like there's a... Announcement anywhere on Twitter. Do you can get this guy anywhere else? Right now, Giannis is available in packs, as is Kobe Bryant. But the thing people got to realize is the only way Giannis is available is by gambling. And yep. I hate that. I despise that. If you want 2K, or if you want people to think of a moment's Giannis, he should not be hidden behind gambling. Giannis tomorrow is going to be the collection reward for $50. And you know what? I don't even think that's that bad. I really don't. I, I, I can't hate on that specifically but the fact of the matter is 2k tried pushing that quote-unquote content into today hidden behind packs and i just cannot yeah. with, with, with with all due respect stand up for that i think the collector award is pretty bad but it's just more confusing it's not that bad but like yeah yeah they're trying to push it day early through packs for just no reason. I, I cannot, you know, be like, oh, you know what? That's not that bad because that is absolutely horrible. And, I, and it's not something I personally can stand for. To me, I wish 2K would have done this. Just drop this Andre Drummond today and, 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 and held on to Giannis. Say a Giannis is coming tomorrow and hold on to his stats and badges. And nobody's going to say a bad word. You know what? Ty is right with that. If 2K had have tweeted out being like Giannis Ball... Um, numbers Giannis tomorrow numbers Giannis coming tomorrow as collection reward people would have been angry but not this angry worried about it sure people would be mad that oh well Giannis wasn't free Giannis isn't this Giannis isn't that but they still would know okay he's coming tomorrow in the set and until 2k put that tweet out everybody's thinking it is just gambling and, and like how many minutes were 2k late on that tweet by the way 2k tweeted it out they were like 15 minutes late. It is kind of sad. Today, it is not, it, this is not content today. We've already got a lock in Giannis. We've already got a diamond Giannis. And two months later, we've got to lock in more money for another Giannis? Yeah. I think this is going to be a trend. By the way, another rant video has just come. I'm going to react to both of these in this video. Another rant video from the Debo. Moving forward. That Giannis, that LeBron, that Kobe, that MJ, 
all of those guys that you want, those are going to be hidden behind lock-ins. And it's only going to get worse for, for, for moments cards too. You see LeBron have a good game. He's not going to get a moments card that's available for, you know, 170 MT, 170. No, no, LeBron has a good game. He's going to be 300K. You're going to see him as a collection reward for $50. Don't even advertise Giannis in packs because you don't want to know what 2K wants. They want people to get so eager for Giannis that they rip a bunch of packs. You're never going to get don't him. Don't get him. And then they're still going to spend money tomorrow on Giannis. Yeah. That's what 2K wants to do. And there's no odds here. These less than 2% give us as a community nothing to stand on. Less than 2%. If it's less than 2% for a diamond, it's less than 0.2%. Does it doesn't signify anything. It doesn't say 0.05%. It doesn't say 1%. We have no idea what the odds are of pulling a diamond. We have no idea what the odds are of pulling a pink diamond. And it just puts the community in a horrible situation is the only yep. way to get Giannis today is via PAPS. And I get it. Giannis available tomorrow as his set reward. I like that because for me, you know what? I'll be able to get Giannis. I didn't get the diamond Giannis. That's awesome. But it also... To, to be fair, if you didn't get the diamond Giannis, it's way cheaper. It's going to be way cheaper now to get Giannis than it was to get the last Giannis. Let's say I had the diamond Giannis. I'd be irritated. I'd be really irritated if I had the diamond Giannis. Why? Because when I look at this Giannis and I compare him to the new Giannis, I'd only be irritated if you're in my position. If you're somebody like, look, I'm in the position I'm in for content, so I don't really care. If you're in the position of, you spend a bunch of money in this game, and you want Kobe Bryant, and you have to lock in for Giannis to get Kobe, and that's just if Giannis is need to get Kobe. If Giannis need it, is an additional card, cool. I guess I upgrade my Giannis, I guess. Giannis, there's not that much different. There's not. This Giannis... Is it that much worse than the new Giannis that's coming tomorrow? New one's going to be cheaper With for some reason. With that being said, people are going to have to lock in the new Giannis if they want Kobe Bryant. Again, not that good. Not that good As far as I'm Giannis, aware, you yes, don't more. need to lock in the new Giannis to get Kobe. But Giannis might be another lock in. I don't know. I, I just don't know what's going on right now. Nobody knows what's going on. That's why my last video is titled, What is going on? Total badges, stuff like that. But there's not that much of a difference. And so for me personally... I don't have that diamond Giannis locked in. So I'm not super angry. But if I had that diamond Giannis locked in, I would be irritated. I would be slightly annoyed is probably a better way to describe super it. Super irritated. And we have to, we'll have to see the um, the playbook and we'll have to see tomorrow whether or not we're really annoyed with that. Offer you to drop another lock in that I'm going to have to spend more money for. If they wanted to make a past meets present set and, and now make this present set. How many good Anthony Davis games have we seen recently? You Fair. could have dropped the 2K numbers Anthony Davis card as the ultimate reward and then made actual content today in a grind for Giannis. Or even Giannis, you know what, available for... You know what 2K could do? They haven't done it recently. But what 2K could have done is, you see him being a 95 overall. They could have made him free, but they could have made him worse than his last card. So if you guys don't remember back in 2K19, people don't remember this, but like, there were... I think was is there a Westbrook in 2K20 I can show this with? Is there a version? So we had like 93 overall Westbrook who wasn't very good. And am I right in saying that like 96 overall Westbrook isn't as good as the 95 overall Westbrook? There was it wasn't this game, it was NBA 2K19. But basically there was a Westbrook that was a 97 overall. That was so much worse than a 95 overall Westbrook. And because it was a moments card was based on the game, like that was a really common thing. Whereas 2K from 2K21 onwards basically meant that every card had to go up. So back in the day, obviously, if we used to ever have like a rookie LeBron, he would have 99 speed or 98 speed no matter what. And he just wouldn't be able to shoot in the same with Michael Jordan. And now it's just an 85 overall LeBron has to have the low speed. Like rookie LeBron has to be the slowest LeBron, if you get me. If he's the lowest overall, but that's just the way 2K do it. What 2K could have done is they could have based it off yesterday. They could have given us a pink diamond Giannis card. And let's just say, see this card here with like 93 speed, these stats. Give them defensive stats in like the mid 80s. Bump the intangibles to 99. Give them defensive stats around like 84, 85. Give them 90 speed, 90 acceleration. Keep the three ball or keep the three ball at 67. As you know what, lower the three ball to this card. Basically make it a better version of this card. If you give them some, give them a bunch of hoffs, 
Give him the rebounding. Give him like 85 speed, 85 acceleration, or even at 90. You bump up some of these defensive stats around 85. You give him a plus six three, plus two or three three ball to 62. And use uh, manipulate things like shot IQ, um, intangibles, passing vision, passing IQ, stuff like that. You can manipulate those stats um, in order to get him to a 95 overall and make him free. Make him significant. You could have made him quite a bit worse than the 94 overall so that the people that did lock in from aren't going to be that upset, but also made him free, which would be 100 times better than what they did right now. Although, like, it's a... Uh, it could be... Um, it could be a little bit uh, better, but I that's a significantly better what they've done. $30 in, in the pack market, if that's what you wanted to do. That's kind of my whole thing behind it is Giannis is fantastic. Giannis is good. But today, he's hidden behind gambling. Tomorrow, you can lock him in for $50. But even that doesn't feel just with the fact that people have to lock in Giannis for Kobe Bryant. And then everybody that has the diamond Giannis is just out of luck. Now, I, I don't feel so bad because this Giannis still is the best power forward in the game for two months. But it's the, the fact that you have to lock in for the new Giannis. It's not, oh, you can buy yeah. a new Giannis. You have to lock yeah. in for the new Giannis. We've had two two pretty good versions of Giannis on both uh, lock-ins. And I think that really just disturbs me a little bit. All I'm going to say is this. The saving grace today was that this Giannis is the set reward for tomorrow. Because if this Giannis would have just been plugged into packs and not available at all and just been total gambling, it would have been a bad day for the 2K community. So I'm not nearly as mad in this video as the... Uh, look, if y'all would have seen that video I recorded 20 minutes... Yeah, to be fair, like, I was very angry in my one. ...it's ago, y'all would have been like, my goodness, Ty has lost his mind. I was calling out 2K devs. I was calling out the CEO. I was doing it <laughs> all, man. Jeez, even I haven't, I haven't gone that far, Ty. Oh, I wish that video was had been released. The Debo would have gone full DBG in that last video. So it's not Ty Debo anymore. It's Ty DBG. It's a good thing that thing got scrapped, probably for me and for 2K. But on the on the good side of things, like he is available, and it's not all gambling. The bad side, look. When are we going to get actual content in 2K? That's not just pay you. Never. It's 2K24. You Never. get a certain player. Never. Pay, you get a certain player. When are we going to get a cool grind? When are we going to get a worth it gauntlet? When are we going to get a mode reward that's actually decent? When Never. are we going to get a, you know, a KG Hakeem type player that's actually a good grind that doesn't get outdated by a new Yon? Never. That's what I want to see. The answer is never. When are we going to get those types of cards? You. That's, that's what I think the game mode me needs more than anything. Look, Giannis is good. I, I, I so now we're on to video number two, titled "What Is the Point?" Tidy buzz in his rap mood. Good is get you it's your boy Ty back here with another video. In the Wasn't me that annoyed if you did the intro. This video today, guys, we're gonna be talking about what's the point. What's the point? What's the point of, of loading up NBA 2K24 and clicking the my None. <laughs> None. My team mode. What is the point? None. What is your it's purpose of loading up the game? Is it to just play and have fun? And if that's the case, okay, cool. But just realize do that. that my team or ultimate team modes, the whole goal, in my opinion, has been to build a team. Some people want to build the best team. Some people want to use their favorite players. But ultimately, there has to be a reason to play the game. The gauntlet sh I mean, look, the goal for 2K is to get people to spend their money. That's all. That hasn't always been the goal. For me to say that's always been the goal is wrong. They very clearly, for a few years, their goal was to bring people into the game and make their money. Their now goal is solely to make money. But yeah, that is the point of 2K, of Mighty from 2K's perspective should be a big time reward and i don't even care if it's a big name or not like chris bosh joe johnson lamar odom none of those cards are big names one of those cards Bosch, was a maybe? top 10 card when he got released and that was chris bosh the crazy part is two months later chris bosh still plays for me now obviously if i had Giannis, if i had the best squad he uh, chetty still he wouldn't play but for me he plays lamar odom joe johnson they've not been good they have not been a reason to load up the game. They haven't because they're not hype names and neither of them were good. 
And nobody in their right mind, and outside of me, who is crazy and, a, and I'm a content creator, is gonna load up my team unlimited to get Lamar Odom. Why? Because skill-based matchmaking is in the thing. And if you don't spend your week's salary on the game, you're gonna be outmatched by your opponent. The big time grinds in, in this mode are level 40 and, and, and then the ultimate reward, which is KG. Level 40, gotta... just buy it. Now, Jimmy Butler, is Jimmy Butler really solid? Yes. The problem with Jimmy Butler the rest of the cuts is by the time you grind for him, you're gonna have enough MT to get this guy right here who is better than Jimmy Butler. If you're gonna he's, make Jimmy- He's not wrong. Jimmy Butler the level 40 uh, card, he's gotta withstand the test of time. By the time I get Jimmy Butler, which I mean, who knows if I'll get him by next week or not. If I have Kobe by then, Jimmy Butler might never play for me. And that's sad. If he has Kobe by then, unless you're spending money, you're not gonna be close Then I'm to gonna Kobe. grind one of the three ultimate quote unquote rewards and, uh, and, and look. Oh, he's not on his own he spent. He's not gonna be worth it. Mind you, at the shooting guard position, we've already got- Yeah, there's a lot of VC there. Got Andre Godala, who's just as good as Jimmy Butler. And they wanna make a salary cap Austin Carr. They wanna make Ron Harper, who's a bona fide scrub and clutch time online. Artist Gilmore, who isn't a top 20 center in the game. Doug Christie, who isn't even close to Ron Artest as much as I like Doug Christie. David West and Otis Thorpe. None of those cards are worth it either. So talking about what's the point? Oh yeah, let me just let, let, let me get the best team in the game to grind for a mid Doug Christie card. That makes that sense. That is one of the craziest. I things. mean, it just it does it does make sense. And then further on that point, David Robinson is better than Kevin Garnett. Better than Hakeem Olajuwon. Yeah. That's a problem, 2K. If you do not see the problem with that, I don't know when we will. The fact that, oh yeah, let's make all these cards who are decent, at least they're pink diamonds, but they are outclassed by cards we've already gotten. Yep. Hakeem is fine, but again, Hakeem's David Robinson, good. so much better than him. KG is fine, but d Rob so much better than him. I so agree. So what is the point? I don't know what the point is of my team. I genuinely don't know. And I, genu I think, other than going just out there and playing, I don't think there's a point. What is the point? Especially when we know, you know, even after Kobe, we're probably going to get another big time player that is hidden behind my team. Yep. 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 Team's big time paywall. It needs to be more balanced. I get it, 2K. You want people to spend money on the game. Well, guess what? For Giannis, for LeBron, for Kobe, people are going to still spend money on the game. You can still get your money while still making KG the best power forward in the game, while still making Hakeem the best center in the game, and while still making Jimmy Butler at the end of the season a top two shooting guard in the game. There is no way Ron Artest should have been better than Jimmy Butler. No way. Meanwhile, the mode rewards... Yep. Yeah, like Jimmy Butler, they released Jimmy Butler. And then in the two weeks after, they released Ron Artest... And they released Iguodala, who are arguably better than them. Need to be better too. There's no way we should get one top 10 at his position card in the entire game as far as a mode reward. Doug Christie's a top 10 shooting guard in the entire game. The rest of these mode rewards are not top 10 cards at their respective positions. What is the point of me grinding for them? You guys, David West is pretty good. Surprisingly, David West is genuinely a good player, so... I don't think he's bad. The rest of them are awful. Has to understand, the majority of people that play the game can't get KG. They cannot get Hakeem Olajuwon. So what is the point of them actually playing your game? To get MT? <laughs> That's cute. You want people to play the game to get MT. All for these cards, these sets to be it's too way hard to cheaper, lock in for MT. 50 percent discounted with VC. Meanwhile, VC is way. M if MT literally. To for the equivalent of like fifty dollars, fifty dollar equivalent in MT is a million, which is a hundred and fifty dollars. Like for you to get two hundred K VC to lock in a set for that, it's probably going to be with the way sales are a million MT. Way cheaper than MT when it comes down to to what you get for it. It's crazy. It's crazy. If two K wants to make the game somewhat worth it. Make their buy all discount for MT2. Why would there not be a 58% discount with Because you can't earn MT in game. You gotta spend money for MT. That's the reason why, Ty. 
MT2. And, and I get it, oh, with the quick sell values and all that stuff. Okay, then make them a 30% discount to buy them all with MT. I used to load up the game to make MT and to, 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 to grind the game and get rewarded, right? I'd get rewarded with MT. I'd get rewarded with, with, with you know, rewards. And, and at least there was maybe a Terry Dishinger in the vault that was maybe I was going to pop out. Right now, there is absolutely no player worth grinding for. This is the last thing I want to No, hear. like this... <laughs> And I love the way the equal chance people are like hyping it up, being like, oh, this is good. And I was like, dude, this is literally moments of month from two years ago, but now you only get one card per tier instead of all of them for free. You know, these tis the season players. They started this. They started these. Dropping Ambies. We got Bill Russell. We got Mark Yeah, Mike. Sapphire. I was Sapphire, like, you know Ruby. what? We're going to get 10 of these. They're all going to be Amethyst. We got a good chance for to see some solid players. Then they give us a Sapphire Brian Scalabrini and a Sapphire Nicholas Batum. And they want me to be happy. They want me to be excited. Come on, oh. 2K. Come on, 2K. We have to be better for the community. If you want people to continue playing this game, if you want viewership to go up. I don't think they give a damn about viewership going up. In fact, I think the fact that we don't have as much say is better because 2K now have a smaller group of people playing this game mode who spend more money, which is ideal. Which means they don't have to focus on making content for a large group of people. They have to focus on making content for a very small amount of people. And they also are making record profits. And they also don't have to worry about content creators influencing people to not spend money on the game or to play the game not only spend. Because one, it's not possible. And two, we don't have any pull anymore. Like we're a quarter of the size. Ty is probably half the size it used to be. I'm a quarter. I'm a third of the size. I'm trying to think. I was probably double... I'm half the size of Ty now, so I'm an eighth of the size that I used to be. If you want your, your numbers to go up, money to go up, I'm telling you, make people, let people to have fun playing the game. Ultimately is what it is. Until 2K puts more effort into people having fun playing the game and, 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 and making there a point of playing the game, ma making the building of their, my team fun again, they're not going to maximize their profits. 2K has seen their profits. They've maximized the profits. Profits go up and they're like, man, we're doing good. Yeah, sure. But are you doing as good as you could? That's the worst part is, is maybe they are. The worst part is, is that making a good game seems to make two. The better the game is, the less money 2K make. The less money 2K make. The more people are just happy going out there and playing, the less money 2K are going to make, which is the worst way to look about it. But the better the game is, the better the mode is, the less money 2K make. Sad truth, but it's the truth. That's that's the real question. Because I promise, 2K, I promise. If you make David West a diamond and make him a top five power forward in the game, not as good as D-Rod, but a top five power, power forward in the game, you don't think people are going to grind for him? I just wish there was more of a point in playing the game. The rewards... The thing is, people will grind for him, but it means people are going to be less likely to, say, buy their Rudy Gay or buy Luol Deng. Like, people are still going to buy their d rob but if you give a card that's somewhat comparable to that card, they'll do what I would call tactically downgrade, and people don't buy the cards. 2K know what they're doing. And I hate it because they're good at... The dev team are good at one thing, and it's making money. The dev team are not good at making content for a video game, and I'm I'm just going to say it. They're not. They're, they're not good at it. But their job is to make as 2K as much money as possible, and you better believe they're really good at their jobs. Unfortunately, their job isn't to get more people on this game. Their job is to make money, and they're really good at their jobs. What we what we think their job should be is not what their job is. Like, from the perspective of what the player base thinks their job should be, they're bad at it. But what their job actually is, they're really good at it. They're bad. There's zero sense of accomplishment. Even yesterday when I got 12-0, and 0, was, it, was I accomplished? I mean, sure, but this reward is horrible. Like, if Lamar Odom was a top five small forward power forward in the game, I would be excited, but he's horrible. He's fine. It's just so sad that there's no sense of accomplishment. If I'm you guys, there's no reason to load up this game right now. There's none. Jimmy Buck. Like, I agree. I agree. I don't think anyone in good faith, unless they want to be an X maker and go to community day and are hyping up nonsense. Or just like, and my favorite thing for the wannabe X makers is to like complain. When, when the whole community is complaining, about something is to complain about the community complaining to take 2k side. I love that from the wannabe next makers. Um, and I'm not even, when I say that, like, I'm not talking about some of the guys that actually are next makers. Like, 
you can see Jazz will criticize the game when there's something wrong. Heck, even Floki will criticize the game when there's something he doesn't like. But it's the guys that um that want that want to do everything in their power to get the community and shill. They're the guys. They they might be the only guys that can talk positively about this game mode. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And obviously, go subscribe to the Debo as well.